Iran's foreign minister firing back after President Trump's United Nations address last week when he took a hard line against Tehran and urged other world leaders to join the U.S. in isolating the regime. This horrible one-sided deal allowed Iran to continue its path towards a bomb. The regime used new funds from the deal to support terrorism, build nuclear-capable missiles, and foment chaos. I ask all members of the Security Council to work with the United States to ensure the Iranian regime changes its behavior and never acquires a nuclear bomb. Today, Iran's foreign minister calling President Trump a bully and sending out a warning. Watch. This policy is going to have a backlash. The international community is not going to accept somebody to come and just orders them. Uh, we will continue to work with the Europeans. Uh, certainly, some European companies have withdrawn from Iran because of the fear of punishment uh, by the United States. I'd like to welcome Walid Ferris, a Fox News national security uh, and foreign policy analyst. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Molly. Uh, of course, the announcement was made uh, in May that the U.S. was withdrawing from the nuclear deal, and the United States is now set to impose sanctions here in November, although it seems like even far ahead of the sanctions that there's already been some impact. The president has also called on action from other countries to help join us in economic pressure. Do you think that the tone that the president took on that national on the global stage uh, mm -hmm. is having an effect? It is having an effect, Molly. It is actually laid by the measurement that the Obama administration uh, did not want to confront the Iranian regime, actually sign an agreement that uh, got Iran billions of dollars. But now what the administration is trying to do is, number one, to establish an alliance, a vast coalition that would actually isolate Iran, not being isolated, as the minister Zarif was uh, trying to say. And number two, very importantly, the sanctions are creating an impact inside Iran. Don't we see those demonstrations for the past eight to nine months? Don't we see them in minority areas, in majority areas? It is working. It needs some more work for the future. Uh, Waleed, you brought it up. Uh, Iran has responded to the president. Uh, take a listen. This is the Iranian Foreign Minister uh, Javad Zarif. I think it's not uh, a sign of strength. Uh, he's making all those statements. He convened the meeting of the Security Council to bash Iran. And at the end of the day, 14 out of 15 members of the Security Council bashed his decision to walk away from JCPOA. So unfortunately, the United States has managed to isolate itself in the world. So he's bashing the president there, but also saying that it's the United States that has managed to become isolated. Does the U.S. stand apart on this issue? I think the United States now is creating the largest coalition against, number one, the missiles. Ask the French, ask the Germans, ask many nations, including, including Russia. On the issue of missiles, there is an international solidarity with the United States against that regime. But look, Minister Zarif mentioned uh, the companies, the European companies withdrawing. Well, that is not solidarity with Iran, and more of these companies are going to be withdrawing, but add also the countries of the Gulf, many, many Arab countries. And if you look at it strategically, many other countries from Japan and soon to be, uh, you know, in Brazil after the next elections, there will be much more support to the American position than Mr. Zarif uh, expo uh, uh, think. Yeah, you, you raise a really important point. Some international corporations have already uh, essentially pulled out of working with Iran. Uh, let's talk about the power of the U.S. dollar as being part of this. Well, the, uh, the European Union said last week that they would work with their members to create a system in which they, people, the countries would still be uh, able to trade with the oil companies there in Iran. Uh, but but the U.S. dollar is so powerful. It, it, it is kind of the center of international trade. It makes it very challenging for people to continue to do business with Iran, does it not? Look, there is a fact. The dollar is so powerful. We like it or not, that's what is happening worldwide because it is the symbol of the American economy. The American economy is getting stronger and stronger. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to boil down to this. Which company, which country in the world is going to make the choice of becoming the partner of the Iranian economy with all the problems inside mm -hmm. Iran versus the American economy? That's the real measurement, and we will see the results soon. All right. Yeah, uh, absolutely. A fascinating interview. Waleed Ferris, thank you so much. Uh, all eyes on...